Welcome back to Northwest Lanes in Fairfield, Ohio. Of course, Bill Heflin won the first game and his opponent in this match, Dave Newrath. Well, we're looking at Riga Kolfus. What a bowler he is. Very young, very well-schooled, disciplined bowler. It's going to be tough to beat, but I tell you what, if anybody can do it, Bill Heflin's the man. He is on a roll, and he's as hot as a firecracker today. Got a pair of southpaws in this one. And Riga Kalfa stepping up in frame number one. Our second match of the day facing Bill Heflin. And out there. Start now with the hard seven. We opened uh, this game with a shot of the crowd. And there's, uh, as usual, we've got a just an unbelievable uh, supporting crew of people here. Jen, who we got? Uh, well, our BPA sponsors, the, the, you know, the main men at the BPA, we've got Mike McDonald from Stumps, Jerry Bettinghouse from Eastgate, uh, Bud and Tess Boskin from Fairfield, Dave Lockwood, uh, Northwest Manager. We also have Joe Minster, who is a sports writer for the Hamilton Journal. And I think it's, it's great what he's been doing since uh, Cincinnati Inquirer. We no longer uh, have our bowling writer. It's tough to get bowling in the paper anymore. I don't think it really gets the acknowledgement it deserves. I think Joe's going to have an article to start out tomorrow. Coffus misses seven in first, <laughs> you know. And Heflin strikes <laughs> and strikes and strikes. That's right. You, you could write about that all day long. But w out of curiosity, how, how did he miss that? Is that just a lack of concentration? If you're going to see in, in warm-ups, I, I did not see... Uh, Riga shooting a lot of cross lane spares. You have to become familiar with the whole plane surface, not just the area you're going to strike on Tommy. And and unfortunately, you pay a pretty pretty high price for a lesson when you miss one when the game starts. First ball that has not been flush into one two in 13 frames. I was getting ready to say that's not the kind of shot we've seen Bill Heflin unload throughout the afternoon so far. You know, Jennifer, you were talking about Joe Minster. He is one of the true characters in uh, Cincinnati characters, as far as the media yeah. is concerned. Yeah. Great, great man. Uh, he's on the Reds beat, Bengals beat. He's everywhere. I tell you what, and it's good yeah, to I've have him aboard the show. I've seen him on the bowling beat already. Around. He's a very nice guy, very funny. And he's a great writer. As a matter of fact, he won an award, an achievement award, for 30 years of promoting bowling, which is great. He's a true supporter. Well, that's that's what uh, we need, and in years past, we had a lot of support from a lot of other medias, but I tell you what, we do not get anything as strong as WLW, Channel 5, you've been backing us up, and you rolled so many promos yesterday, Tommy, we'll, we'll probably have people from Dry Ridge up to Hamilton and Dayton watching us today. They're going to take a look at a good-looking match here. Riga Calpas comes right back after that badly missed fair in the first frame. Regains that composure and drills one right there. To show you how you know long this the, the game really is, Tommy, and you can position yourself. Drastic mistake in the first frame, missing an opening with a nine count to fill. Uh, but what it's done is with Bill not capitalizing on the strike in the first, he's only 11 pins behind, and 11 pins in a game where there's eight more frames to go is next to nothing. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try to come right back now. That was a crucial ball for him. You mentioned, Dave, to come back with that strike and really build his confidence right back up with another one here. He got it. Now, in between frames, in between games, I went in town and talked to Bill Heflin. Bill, what do you think about the lane? The left lane, he says, is hooking a little bit more, so you have to be firm with the shot. So what we saw on that particular occasion was uh, Riga being firm and the ball not quite getting up. So if either lane's going to give him a problem, it looks like the left lane today. Another crash seven. Well, that is the right lane. Yeah. Well, flush into one, two, uh, Tommy, that that could be a pin position. It could be uh, two or three inches and in rolling a little late. But uh, when you fill the pocket that full, you really can't make too many changes. We've got some other people here today, too, I think. Jen? Sure do. Um, we have Joey and Wendy Durking, who is the daughter of Sue Durking, who is in the hospital, and I'd like to give her a get well wish. Susan, get well. Get well. Doggone it. Stay out of that big white building. We've got another friend, too, while we touch on it. Right. Little um, Kristen, I want you to get well, too, honey. Very important, too. Your daddy. 
Bill Hafley. We also have uh, Walt Tarpley from Durban and uh, Dave Miniger from Harrisonville. And Nerve Hoinke. And Nerve Hoinke from Western Bowl. Indeed. I'll tell you what, Bill has now made the adjustment. He's full up on it. Let's watch it on the replay. Solid seven. We've been leaving a lot of them lately. Watch how it is left. The ball going down the lane a little too far. Bill looks and he's talking to it. Bring it on home. That's the four pin going to the wall, wrapping right around the seven. But as you mentioned, trying to pick up the spare, and he does easily. And the back to back spare is all of a sudden we have got a match on our hands, David. You bet we have. We got 12 frames out there to fill. Actually, 10 frames, but you get a couple of bonuses in a tenth if you happen to do well, so I call it 12. And Riga can really, really jump into the driver's seat, even with an open in the first frame. Jen, tell us a little bit about uh, Riga Kalpas. I know he was on our show last year. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, he was playing against Don Scudder, who's another very experienced player. Uh, he's 20 years old. He is very young. As Dave said, he, he is well-schooled, you know, which is important. The junior programs really bring about good bowlers, good basics. <laughs> You betcha, throw 10 in the pit, every pin doing its job. i tell you what, Riga is lined up, and he's going to give Bill everything he can handle after shooting a uh, great game in the roll-off, a super game for our first game on the telecast. Bill Heflin having trouble getting the seven out now. Could be in trouble long time. Right there on the camera, you have the judge. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, judge. The judge world famous. You. Thousands <laughs> of people screaming happy birthday, right? Is that what is his name? Wapner? <laughs> no. All right. On the left lane, Rika Golfus looking to make it four strikes in a row and take the lead. That's good. Got him to go. Little emotion on that shot. I tell you what, he wants it. Does he want it? You bet he does. We're gonna take a on break. the. No, we're not. <laughs> this is a great, great shot. Six, six board coming in. He's rooting it home. Yes, sir. One, two pocket filled up. It's a little tight, but that's the six pin taking it out. And we're going to be right back because we have a match for you in just a few moments. Last week at Glen Schmidt's Lanes in Newport, Mike Ackerman shot a 256 to edge out Don Hughes' score of 247 to become our current king. Lee's Famous Recipe salutes Mike Ackerman on becoming this week's King of Bowling. Want to go bowling? I'd be delighted. Come on, get with it. Let's share the fun. Grab the flavor. That's the number one. I know the way. That fish goes Hurry to the ball shop and take advantage of the savings during our 6th annual President's Month sale. The ball shop is one half block north of Dana on Montgomery Road and carries a complete line of balls, bags, and accessories for the pro bowler in you. During this great sale, buy two balls and get a double ball bag free and receive free drilling, sizing, and lettering with any ball purchase. The ball shop means bowling and savings. You'll get a free game at Stones Lanes with any ball, shoe, or bag purchase. Save 20% on all Ebonite and Brunswick balls and bags. The ball shop. We do more than just drill balls. High above the Blue Chip City, Seven Hills, lies one of the West's favorite entertainment centers, Western Bowl, where in January, the Hoinkie Classic began another year of competitive tournament bowling. Since 1975, over $1 million in prize money has been awarded each year to men and women bowlers. Additional early bird prizes are paid to winners during the first six weeks of the Hoinkie Classic, the world's largest handicap tournament. Share in the excitement. Western Bowl on Glenway Avenue, Western Hills. News 5 is going places to stop the costly practice of subleasing cars. Call 5's Noel Morgan uncovered this Hamilton subleasing operation involving hundreds of thousands of dollars and at least 200 victims. I'm a little upset. And then I find out from the car dealer across the street that he doesn't even have a license. Within a week of Noel's first report, the dealer closed and is currently under a state attorney general's office investigation. For the story behind the headlines, News 5 is going places to bring it home. 
said it best, we have got a match on our hands. And the match, at this point in time anyway, belongs to Riga Kalfas. He has an 11-pin lead with the strike with a double working, which makes it 21 pins. Bill Heflin, unfamiliar position for him. Well, back-to-back -back spares. He needed that strike and came right back with it. That's absolutely right, Tommy. 21-pin uh, deficit can only be overcome if you throw a lot of Xs. It's back down to 11 pins at this point. I'd like to thank Todd Schiller today from Western Hills Ford for bringing us an LTD Crown Victoria ready to be driven home. That, of course, is if we should have a 300 game today. Came close quite a few times last year. Mm, what happened there? Well, as we said in the setup, when I talked to him, Bill's opinion of the pair was that if either lane was more hooking than the other, I mean, he said the last lane. Obvious that time, after leaving two very strong seven pins, makes the adjustment there, you're looking at it, a four, seven, ten. Very, very difficult to bring back. He's going to stand to the right of the approach, throw cross lane, and hopefully slide that four pin into the ten. It looks close. Mm. He gave it a gallon effort. You know, we talked about last week the fact that you have to adjust the lanes, Dave, as you mentioned. And uh, is Bill not doing that as well as he would like to at this point? It's good that you picked that up, Tommy, because how difficult is it for a man that's shot 270-something, 260-something, to now, at this point, start making changes? It's very difficult, uh, uh, equated to uh, an off-speed pitch for a batter. I mean, you know, he can drive the fastball into the into the cheap seats, but boy, you hang a curve on him, a slow curve, and he's going to look like a fool. Swinging about a second and a half before he you gets to the plate. You, you betcha, and it's and it's tough to make that adjustment, but Bill Heflin can do it. But unfortunately for him, this man, Riga Kaufus, is lined up better than anybody I've seen yet. Boy, now he has made a brilliant comeback in this match. Of course, you go back to the first frame. He missed that seven pin, but he had come back up until that shot with four consecutive strikes. Now, he's, how difficult is this to pick up? Uh, it, it would be more difficult for uh, someone of, of lesser talents, but Riga should have no problem with it. What he would do, he's going to throw the ball and just hopefully hit left or right of center, I'm sorry, right of center on the three pin, the three into the five, and then the ball to carry over into the ten. Shouldn't be that difficult. But he can chop this spare. That's the thing. You see the look of concentration on Riga's face. And steps right up there. Just like that. Whoa! Man, you call that day. That's the way to do it. Well, that's the optimum way. And like I said, it's not all that difficult because of your positioning on the lane. Let's watch it on the replay. We said just to the right of center of the three pin. That's exactly what he's going to do. Now you're going to watch the three pin. Center, center one there. Take out the five. The ball into the ten. Very, very easily done. Got qualifying going on next week, don't we, Jennifer? Yes, we do. And um, Fairfield Lanes qualifying will be. It starts 9 a.m. both days, Saturday and Sunday. They have shifts every hour and a half. There will not be a f there will not be a 4:30 shift, however, on Saturday or Sunday. You can call fa Fairfield Lanes at 761-9274. Get your spot. My wife will be glad to hear that there's no 4:30 squad. I'll get home on time for a change. Riga Golf is left lane after bringing back a fantastic split. Bill Heflin opening. This replay will show you where his head is, and that is in the winner's circle. Perfect shot. Head pin. Center your screen going straight back. That's the two pin going to the channel. The last one out of there. Reluctant, but gone. Ah, the pin action there. Heflin answers right back with the strike of his own. But as we look at the... Uh, the match at this point, Dave, I guess Mr. Kalfas is clearly in control. Well, both players have a strike working in the seventh frame. The only trouble is 30 pin difference. 30 pins with three frames to go. Not inconceivable that Bill Heflin could make up the deficit. There you see it. But the only way he can do it is if he strikes on every shot from here on out. That's the way to start it. As we mentioned in the last game regarding Daryl Higgins, Mr. Heflin is not going to throw in the town. We have qualifying also today for next weekend show at Brentwood Bowl. 
uh, come on out to Brentwood Bowl and, and, you know, try and qualify for this show. Okay. I think everybody's capable. Oh, wait a minute. There's <laughs> one guy right back here that is not capable. I'm I'll not going to put right my now. money on Tom, no. No way. One of the best uh, people around in town for sports, Mr. Brenneman. I love your show, but do not put on bowling shoes and try to bowl. I don't think I could qualify with the bumpers. Except for fun. <laughs> I'd love to have you out for fun, buddy, but not for this tournament. We got some tough people out there. Oh, don't go to the fridge yet again. This match is not over. Riga Koff is going right straight through the heart, leaving the 4-6-10. Difficult is the uh, probably the most optimistic word. Impossible is more like it. He should take the 6-10, and Bill Heflin is back in the game. Well, Riga picked up a, an excellent spare just a few short moments ago. But this one a bit more difficult indeed. That is his first open frame since the first. Yes, and uh, the first open frame in the first was just a mental lapse and being unfamiliar with the territory. That was a bad, bad shot. Now, how important is this one for him? Well, this this is super critical. Uh, it's a ninth frame. Is always your building frame. His opponent, Bill Heflin, has strikes in the seventh and eighth frame. He's got the momentum back. Uh, let me tell you what, when Bill Heflin smells blood, he's like a shark. He can come in and get Nasty. you, buddy. He can come in and get you. Well, Riga doesn't want to be the prey, so he is going to have to bury 10 in the pit right here. Taking a lot of time. That's what you got to do. Thank, thank you to our sponsors, too, from uh, Hudipole once again. They all came out. Tony Plank, Bob Schwerking, Ken Brand, El Cataro, Ken Rippinger. Fabulous people. Good beer. Great beer great and a beer. great shot out of Bill Heflin. This gets him back. You want to see motion? This old guy can cover some boards. That gave him the lead timing, and he was actually running out. Let's watch it here on the replay. I don't think we're going to get his body English too much, but we can get a little body English on the pins. Crucial shot. He can take the lead. Head pin. <laughs> oh, why got a little, a little reaction. Yeah. There. Bill got pumped up. You better believe we it. We got to get Dave on the show. You want to see reactions, Tom? And we'll be taking out the score table. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, we'll put a remote mic on. Now, there was a lot of reaction there. Mr. Heflin's still doing it. That's as excited as I think I've ever seen him get. I would agree with that. The piste de resistance, does he do it? Yeah, he throws it. It's only perfect. One, two pocket, annihilated. That's the five pin laying in the horizontal position. Bill Heflin just said, take that, Riga. That's right. These young guys, I'll show you how to do it. With this strike, Tommy, let me tell you what. He can force Riga to get the first two. Mm. Soft seven. The soft seven, and that opens up the door for Riga to not go home yet. The ball's going to be in his court, as we say, and on the replay, you can see why. The four pin, second one from the left-hand side of your screen, is not going to do its job. Look at it. Go to the gutter, lazily lay down, not go after the seven pin. That shot allows his opponent to possibly win the match, and Bill will have no control from this point on. Well, he does have control over picking up this pair. It does it nicely. We're going to see here how uh, how Riga handles the pressure. It's not easy. I remember seeing last year the show that I was on at Penthouse. Um, a guy who had eight in a row. Who was that the guy who had eight in a row? Anyhow, he opened in the tenth with a big fat split against Don Scudder, and so it's never over till it's over. There you see the score dissolving out to Bill Heflin, knowing that he has shaking his head on the seven. He knows if he carried that. He'd be going on to our championship round. As it is, Riga Kolfus can be in the final match if he strikes here. He's answered on a couple of big shots. Oh, and he does it one more time for the kid. Look at him. Riga saying, yeah, I want to be back as the king. Now that only gives him the opportunity, and we can watch it here. Um, 
you know, giving him the opportunity to go on and meet the next guy. But I'll tell you what, it was a great shot, but the ball gets heavier, Tommy. The ball gets heavier. He's got to have this one. Jennifer mentioned the fact that Riga is young, Eflin a little bit more experienced, but you couldn't tell the pressure was on Mr. Calvis right there. He drilled it. This is what pr this, I mean, this is what match play is all about. He's got to have this one, or the party is over. He says, "Thank you very much, Mr. Newrain." Mm, yeah. How about that? I tell you, the replay shows it all. Does he make a good shot? And what's he do? Yeah, he throws it wide, but he hits the straps the ball for all it's worth. Watch the reaction. Yeah. He says good night, Irene. That's how he won the city match games. That gets you the blood to. circulating the hands when you do that. <laughs> You're right, Jennifer. That's how he did win it. A lot of crucial shots, throwing great shots. He's going on to the championship round to meet our king from last week. My dad. and Riga will move on to face our current king, Mike Ackerman. We'll be back with the beautiful king of TV bowling in just a moment.